Hey guys, Rochelle here uh, with Amethyst Ascension. And we are on day 15 of the October uh, YouTube Pagan Vlog Challenge. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll probably have it completely memorized by the 31st day. <laughs> Repetition, right? But anyways, the, the word for day 15 is nature. And obviously, I'm wearing the same thing as I did for several of these. You know, for me, I don't want to have a whole lot of time. I don't even remember what the list is until it's in front of me and I'm recording. Because I want these to be like my first thoughts. Um, I don't want these to be... And this is just for me. I'm not saying for anybody else. But I just want this to be like off-the-cuff kind of first instinctual reactions to these words so so nature well when I was a kid I was in nature all the time I mean I was riding my bike I was going to the beach all the time I came from a small town in Michigan so there was Hardly any crime. Uh, I mean, my mom, when I was young, she just let us go. So uh, when I, shoot, what was I? 10, 12 years old. I would just get with a friend. We'd get on our bikes and we'd ride across town. And we would go to the beach and we would hang out at the beach all damn day. And then on our way home, or well, by the time we got home, we would be like burnt to a crisp. Which was not always the smartest thing, but it was fun. And I would do it over and over and over again because I just loved it. I loved being by the water and the sand and just the, the ride itself. And now as an adult living in more of a town and some of the places that we've lived, there's not been a whole lot of nature around. And we've got a few trees now, this house. we've It'll be two years um, that we bought this house in December. So in a couple months, it'll be two years. Um, but in general, just, I mean, I'm in need of hugging a tree. I need to go find a place where, cause a lot of the, the trees that I have around here are like, um, evergreens or pine where it comes all the way down to the bottom. So you can't, I can't really hug the tree, but I want to find a good tree and go hug a tree. But there's other ways also. I mean, even the arrow garden. I have a little arrow garden that my husband bought for me for Christmas. Was it last year? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I have grown in that, you know, some, some items. And I've tried my hand at buying flowers and stuff out here and, um, we just ended up bringing in some plants that we that actually lasted through the season for us this last year. I am so grateful. I actually did something right. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I try as far as that goes. But there's, I mean, also when I think of nature, I think of grounding, you know. And there's other ways to ground, too. It doesn't, you don't have to go out and walk in your bare feet on the ground, although that is really therapeutic. But just holding crystals or grabbing a handful of dirt or um, I even heard of one guy that actually tied like a um, copper, real thin copper wire, wrapped it around his big toe when he was sleeping and then ran that all the way out and put it into the ground. So the whole time he was sleeping, he was getting grounded. How cool is that? Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, where there's a will, there's a way, right? But nature, I tell you, if you don't have the ability to get out in nature, then maybe use a crystal or, you know, go and grab some dirt or buy a plant, a house plant. Um, but I would also suggest watching Mags, the Woodland Hags, uh, channel because she does these nature walks all the time with her dog Toby and she just lives by the most beautiful wooded areas and 
even on her Instagram, she takes such beautiful pictures, but, and her, when she does her walking and talking, she's such a deep, deep person. And so when you listen to her, I mean, sometimes I have to watch it a couple of times because it's so deep. I'll, what? So I'll listen to it again and get something, you know, more, but the whole time you're watching her walk through these paths and trees and greenery and it's just the most beautiful thing i feel completely grounded after watching those i mean so much relaxation that sometimes i have actually fallen asleep while watching her stuff because sometimes i'll just be laying in bed just chilling because Soli wants me to give him some loving so i'll be you know on the bed giving him some loving and i've got my phone that I Chromecast to my bedroom TV and I just lay there and I watch videos sometimes. So I've fallen asleep to it because it's so, so grounding. But yeah, that's pretty much my two cents on nature. And like I said, this was day 15 of the October YouTube Pagan uh, Vlog Challenge. And I'm sending you guys love and light. Thank you.